I think it is time for people like uh, Jim Hike to come out immediately and testify for TB Joshua. And it's time for other people as well who are really, really close to TB Joshua, who TB Joshua have, have uh, assisted in, in the past, to come out to speak on behalf of TB Joshua. Of course, you know the Jim Hike story now. Went to the synagogue to worship normally, then the Holy Spirit arrested him. A lot of people thought that he was paid to act. But Jemaic had done, he, he did an interview a few years ago and he said, ah, he didn't know what exactly what happened. He went there and something, something just took over him. He didn't know what happened. And later, later on, he started saying all those things on television. He thought that he was hypnotized and Jemaic never went back to that church again. <laughs> Jemaic never went back. You were almost delivered instead of you to go back and continue your deliverance. <laughs> the Mac never went back to that church again. And for those of you who have been saying, why didn't they speak out? They listen again. All those people are talking now. They have been speaking now. They have been talking for a very long time, but you people are not listening. The Nigerian media didn't pay attention to them. And again, let me make this clear. This, my, I think this should be my final remark, although there might be something coming up next, but this will be my final remark about it, Joshua. Yeah? Please get this straight there. The colonizer really did a number on Africans when it comes to religion. I understand it is not right to question God. It's not advisable to question God, but we can definitely question these men of God. They are human beings. They are not perfect. And because they are imperfect, that is why we can question them. So when people say, why questioning the man of God? Are you serious? This is an imperfect being, just like you. You are free to question that man of God if you think that man of God is not doing something correctly. So a lot of them should come out to speak out, to talk out, you know, to... I, I see if, uh, Femi Fadekayo, the testimony he gave recently. I see other people's testimony they are given recently. They're absolutely trying, though. They're absolutely trying. Even one guy said, even one guy testimony I, I, I saw, the guy said, he remember when he went to the synagogue to, to with, with an issue. And he got healed. Guy was healed. And his name is uh, Benfi. Just go and read the story. The guy was healed. So many other testimonies, fine testimonies coming from people. And I think they should continuously speaking out. Huh? Just the same way the victims are speaking out as well. Even uh, uh, T.B. Joshua's uh, foster daughter also spoke out about how she was never treated well by this man. How she was never treated well at all, this man. And let it, it was again established that T.B. Joshua pulled more, more uh, international citizens than any other church in Nigeria. Pulled more foreigners down to Nigeria than any other church. So, it kind of like benefited the federal government, the Nigerian government as well, when it comes to tourists. So, one of the major tourists in our country is religious tourists. Yes, so, it's religious tourists. It's so, it, it, it's so uh, crazy that these white people brought this religion to us, and now they are now seeking for deliverance here in Africa. Is that not crazy? So let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, Tinubu's minister. First, uh, I know there are some uh, crazy allegations against the Minister of Interior that uh, he said the suspended minister, Idu, who was uh, the former, let's say former humanitarian minister, who was suspended yesterday here. There was a money paid into from humanitarian ministry into Minister of Interior's uh, company account. 
company that he has signatory, a signatory to that company. So he came to China to, of course, clear his name. And he said he resigned from that company 2019. I do not know if it's true or not. But let us be completely honest. Eh? This man is doing a great job. So far, so good. Eh? President Tunubu, this is the one of the man I see doing a great job when it comes to visa issuing of via of uh, of uh, passports mostly. And I can testify to it. Yes, I can testify to it. I did a pastor recent a passport recently, and it took only two weeks. Two weeks for that passport to uh, passport to come out. Only two weeks were lying. God bear me witness. Only two weeks. I remember when I did mine about uh, three years ago. Were lying. God bear me witness. Before that was called, Abiyah, when I paid, huh? before that was called for capturing, it took like three months. And when I eventually went for capturing, before I was called to collect, oh god damn it. It was almost a year, almost a half a year. Some people have worse experience. People in abroad are, are still like crying as a den. That even if they go to an embassy to collect passport, they will tell them to go and come. They keep bribing their way through different different stages to get passport. Let's just be honest. I did passport passport in Nigeria. Passport in Nigeria in two weeks, less than two weeks, passports come aside. I was like, really? Is this really Nigeria? Like, am I dreaming? He came out. It's not, it's not a now it's, I can testify to that because I did it. But what about the humanitarian? Hmm? Humanitarian ministry. So so billions were given to revive a uh, 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 poverty alleviation uh, program. So, so billions were given to this, stipends were given to this, and yet nobody can testify that they actually got this money. Nobody can testify. Let's be honest. Nobody can come out to say, yes, this money you guys are talking about, we are actually getting it. Is it a hidden thing? Is this something that uh, is hidden that people will not get? Like uh, people will get and keep quiet on top of federal government money? On top of everybody, money now you will get and keep quiet. Won't you say it as so that other people will find their own means to get as well? So, firstly, I want to applaud the Minister of Interior. Wallahi, Wallahi, I experienced it. And if someone is doing well, let us praise that person. Although I know the allegation against him, I'm not talking for that. But what I'm talking for is what he is doing currently. What he is doing currently. And now he, he, he recently initiated. He said our passport will be ready two weeks after biometric capture. Two weeks after biometric capture. And I bet you it's even lesser than that. But let us, you just put it like two weeks, just in case of any backlog. Thank you, Minister. Let us praise some of all those ministers if they are doing well. Let's praise them if they are doing well. Mm -hmm. That's the only minister I see doing well so far, so good. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. That's the only minister I hear in. We really have spoken, trying to talk, trying to do this. No, trying to really educate the masses, speaking out, and also doing it as well. I said the Minister of uh, Interior, uh, or Olu Bumi Tundi Uju, has officially launched the much anticipated international passport autom autom uh, automation system. In just five simple steps, you can enroll for your international passport. Just five simple steps. Provide your things and you're going to enroll and get your passport. You come for biometry and that's it. And please, Minister, you should also look look into the uh, the our offices in uh, in 
foreign lands as well. Please, I don't know if you have such a power. Please, those of them who showing passports over there, they are making passport difficult for Nigerians. Please, eh? please, in other countries, please, if you can also look into it. So I can see our president, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, he said, talk and do. I call it talking and do. He said he's not going to spare any minister who didn't get the memo. And yesterday he made an example. You know, politics get as a deal. It might be a sabotage or it might not be a sabotage. But if you are caught in that crossroad, we in Nigeria already have a thin uh, hope when it comes to this uh, politician. So it's really hard for us to support him. So, and I see it as dog eat dog. So it's not your fault now. Why should I be fighting if a dog eats another dog? 